Hi everyone, it's Lee. Um, I'm here again. My face is yet again here on this channel with a new video for you. Um, this one's a little bit different. I mean, not wildly different because I'm still a Wattpad writer and that's that's pretty much what I do and that's what that's what you guys are here for. So today I'm not going to be talking about my writing. I'm going to be talking about reading on Wattpad and a few books that I have enjoyed or am currently enjoying uh, because I'm a terrible reader and take ages to finish books so some of these I have not yet finished but um, I still really like them all the same and just want to give you guys a few recommendations and hopefully in the comments you can leave me some recommendations because it's now the Christmas holidays it was the last day of term today so I have a bit more free time and if you guys have any good books on Wattpad I'm very picky so I'm always on the hunt for recommended books and yeah so hopefully you can give you can give me a few of those and yeah let's get started okay so the first book I have on my list is actually a short story um it's called Noah and Lee by Colourlessness nice tongue twisting username you've got there um and I swear it's not the only reason I like it it's not because they have the same name as me although it's very rare for a protagonist to have the name Lee and obviously yeah, you won me over with that um no I've, um in all seriousness I really like this book it was it's a short story obviously between the two love interests Noah and Lee but the whole book is written there's no dialogue in it at all and all their communications all their communication is in written notes to each other and it's honestly oh my god it's so adorable um i read it you can read it really quickly i read this one in about two settings which is impressive for me um just so 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 cute you're just rooting for the couple the whole time um so yeah if you're looking for like a light-hearted quick read i would de definitely recommend that one and the second book i'm going to talk about is called currents by tessa dash x um, I feel like you've probably seen this one because this one was very high up on the hot, what, hot, what list? What's hot list? Um, so I feel like you're probably already familiar with it, but if you haven't read it, you should definitely read it. Um, it reminds me of, it's very Sarah Desson-esque, along for the ride-ish. Um, basically everything you could ever want from a teen beach story. Um, romance, the new girl in town. Um, a lifeguard like what else could you want in a, a book about the beach so um, I'm actually only I haven't finished this book I'm only three quarters of the way through it but I'm not caught up on the, the last few chapters but I'm gonna recommend it all the same obviously don't spoil the ending for me I still need to catch up on that one um, but yeah the characters in this one I mean I'm not gonna say they're all likeable because they're not to start with but they will grow on you and if you're looking for something just like really light-hearted to read and you don't want to get too deep in anything like and just yeah like I said light-hearted I would definitely recommend that one so that was Currents by Tessa-X okay so the third book I'm going to talk about you've probably heard me recommend basically anytime anyone asks me about a recommendation um it is by my good friend Lydia um, who goes by the username Just Lid on Wattpad? She wrote a, I think it was a NaNoWriMo, NaNoWriMo novel actually. Um, it's called Chasing Lacey North, and it's basically about um, a, the main character Drew really fancies this girl he met on one off one off chance he met her, and he finds out that she's back in the country, and she is tweeting about where she is and he goes off on a road trip with his best friend following her tweets and trying to find her so he can reconnect with her but some pretty major things happen along the way it doesn't end the way you think it will so and it's just one of the most well written books I've ever read on Wattpad and yeah written by Lydia so of course it's gonna be good so I had to include that one so Chasing Lacey North by Just Lid definitely definitely go with that one. My next recommendation is another one I haven't actually finished yet and I would say I'm about 30% of the way through so apologies to Phoebe who I am taking years to read this <laughs> but 
I am enjoying it all the same. Um, it's Sterile's Guys by Scrolls. Um, it's an adventure one. It's, this is a little bit of a different genre to the other ones that I've mentioned. Um, it is very futuristic and I really need to get into reading this one again because I'm planning a dystopian right now so I feel like it's going to be good inspiration for me. Um, there's a lot of action. There's, I don't think I've got to any romance yet but I feel like it's definitely coming. Um, again, just impeccably written, just crazily good and just just so different to anything else you'd find on Wattpad so I would definitely recommend that one if you're a little bit tired of like the teen fiction romancy stuff that I've just spent this whole video recommending so if you're looking for something a little bit different sterile skies okay so my last recommendation is probably the best book I've ever read on Wattpad it's just completely out of Wattpad's league almost I feel like like yeah I can say that like it feels like you're reading a book that you've picked off the shelf of a bookshop like it is insanely written and that is because it's written by my friend Davin um who goes by the username keyframed on Wattpad um this book is called The Invincible Summer of Juniper Jones which is as amazing as the title sounds it's set in it's a historical fiction set in the 50s I think and about it touches on quite hard-hitting topics like uh, racism in Southern America and basically about a black boy who's come to this neighborhood and experiencing a really new type of racism and there's this wild wild girl who basically doesn't give a shit what anyone else thinks um, and they befriend each other and it's really it's very sweet and cute but at the same time it's really historically accurate and it feels the setting is just insane like I could I swear I could rave about this book for about two hours but I'm not going to just for the sake of this video um it's just out of this league like yeah if you haven't read this book I'm not, I don't think it's completed on Wattpad but I feel like it is very near to being completed um but Davin just well she deserves like millions and millions of reads on this story because it's just insane so if you haven't read that one you are missing out and you should go read it right now okay so that is all the recommendations i have um i intended to keep this video quite short this week because i feel like i've uploaded a lot of long videos recently um i hope that you go check out some of those five recommendations that I've given you um, please leave me like I said at the start of the video please leave me some recommendations in the comments um, because I really want to read some more things on what I have but I just don't know where to find them basically so yeah if you've read a good book lately please leave it for me any genre is fine like I'm willing to give anything a go so yeah um, hopefully I should be coming up with some more videos for you in the near future um, the Wattpad meetup is this Saturday which is two days time and I am intending to vlog it my other one got muted because I used a copyrighted soundtrack so I'm hoping to find a copyright free one this time and actually it will stay up and you guys will be able to watch it um, so definitely look out for that coming in a few days time you get to see everyone the Wattpad all the British Wattpadders so I'm really excited for that and yeah, that's really all I have to say for this video, so see you in the vlog, I guess. Bye!